All right, welcome back. We uh, we're on the brisket, the brisket again. In Lost in Time, we are under the sea. There is water leaking in. A passage led us from the house to here, as if that makes sense. Danger, lethal gas. This is booby trapped. How long has it been there? Oh, Looking shit. at the way it is closed, it must contain a treasure. <laughs> Fuck it. Open it up. Yeah, wire. Oh, what the shock. That's not gas. That's electricity. Oh. Oh, all right. Fine. I just got shorted out with some copper wire. Good idea. Ouch. <laughs> all right. Uh, shorted out. Was, uh, wait, floats. Floats? You can touch without danger. Oh, all right. Told you. Sure. Oh, the electric. Yeah. Now, now do the wire. I'm trying. No, I mean with the copper wire. Just the copper wire. Ow! I don't know. Use floats on the floor. Since the cork insulates. Maybe if I can stand on it, it will offer enough insulation. No! It's, not how it's wood! It's not how cork works. No! She implying it's a rubber cork, I guess. It doesn't matter! No, it, I'm, it doesn't. I'm just saying that that's, doesn't work still. I, I don't... It's just... Hey, whatever. Well, now try that. Copper wire. Let's do this diversion on the hot wire. God, if I had known this back when we worked at the lighting store and I was wiring things, I'd have just put cork on my feet. And if you'd have done any of these things, well, if you'd have, have <laughs> done any of these things, oh, I'd, you'd be dead. Oh, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here today. No. Let's do this diversion. There'd be no Chad wire. and Russ channel. <laughs> There'd be an in memoriam channel for Chad and Russ. <laughs> Let's do this diversion on the hot wire. What, what diversion, huh? Not possible to guess what's in there just by looking through the opening. All right, well, I oh, got the man. diversion wire. Good thing I can take all these vaults. Uh, what happened to your pliers? I don't know. I didn't get them yet. So they gotta be around here somewhere. Shit, you're right, you didn't get the pliers yet, so where were the pliers this whole time? Well, they're in the ship somewhere, I bet. Maybe, but... This walkthrough seems to imply that you should already have it. There's... Oh, I... zoom in on the mast? Oh, right there. Hey, I just can't see it through all the fuckery. God. There's the pliers! Who we'll put them there? Looks like they had to keep the door open. That's n It's not. That's wire. That's not pliers. There, I can reach the lock now. Sure. Sure. It could, but that's not it. And if it was so simple. Bash it! Would that it was so simple. Freeze it? Huh? <gasps> Is that a CO2 extinguisher? I guess. Why? There is no fire. <laughs> well, you did it. What the fuck you giving us problems for? You got water? I can get water. Uh, All right, using the small pipe. It's salt water. To create a chemical reaction. It's not acid, but there is a hint. Uh... Now try that extinguisher. <laughs> Kaboom! Frozen lock. Now it can be broken as easily as a piece of ice. Hurrah! I knew it would work! A clean job without any- and if there is a curse, well too bad, I'll open it anyway. This lady doesn't give a shit about curses. So, is that a, like a sarcophagus? Looks like it. Yeah. Jesus. An Egyptian sarcophagus, all in gold. That's a treasure, but the strange glow around it, could it be radioactive? 
No. No, do not touch that, miss. Who are you? You frightened me. What? I didn't hear you come in. And you, what are you doing there? You are too curious. Is this this that it's the Jarlath! It's the smuggler. It's Jarlath. How did you get in? My name is Jarlath. To be brief, I built these heights, and all that is here belongs to me. Inherited you say? Your face reminds me of someone I once knew in the past. <laughs> yes, I remember who you are. It's not important. Got the same shot of the eyes every time. But I am sure I have never met you before. I don't care. Not. <laughs> the lips moving for the side. You could disrupt my plan. To kill me, are you? Oh no, no. But I have a better idea. And you can't do anything about it. What? <laughs> Goodbye, miss. As I read this, there, As I yeah, okay. Him, I was captured by a strange whirlwind that left me unconscious. This guy's but, gonna be like, that was you, wouldn't, the, you wouldn't want to see that. That guy's like, couldn't you have just untied me before you jumped into the past? Yeah, told me that you've giant. been telling me this story for you two hours. In time too. So it really is possible the to travel in time? Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> in the time I come from, it's possible to go back in time, but not into the future. A gold mine for dreamers and bandits. A committee was created to regulate travel. The nineties were terrible. Yeah, yeah really bad. And established a police force. I was attracted by the adventure. Nice brown so gradient behind him. Yeah. And what is your mission? I'm Jesus. the infamous Jarlath you met in 1992. He stole a sample of a superconductor that is extremely valuable to the defense department. Unfortunately, it is also extremely radioactive. Sure. Ah, the sample must be what is hidden in the golden sarcophagus close to Yoruba. That explains the glow when I opened it. Yeah. But what I don't Charlotte intend to do? Makes this? perfect sense. Thanks to you, now I know that this ship is going to sink off the coast of Europe. The treasure is going to be safe and close to the manor. But since I inherited the manor, the owner, Jarlot, must be dead. And I am his descendant. He seems very much alive to me. It may mean that in this time period we are in now, Wait. you are going to kill him. What? The theory is rather complex. Wait, Jarlath is her descendant. She's the descendant of Jarlath. Yeah, and she's supposed to kill him. Careful. Yeah, Perhaps which would kill her. Kill you. Oh, it wouldn't Wait, kill her. Is she supposed to kill him or just stop him? He, he just said you're, oh. you're meant to kill him. He went back in time. Let me ask. He's hard to understand. <laughs> yeah. He said that I looked like someone he knew in the past. What do you think he'll do? Kill one of my ancestors? I think his plan is to eliminate you. We must stop him. He interferes too much with events. That could be disastrous. Yeah. And now the writing. Untying me. Yeah. He interferes anyway, too much with I'm events. Alive now, so he hasn't gotten rid of me yet. Don't move. I'll come back with something I can use to cut you free. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. Back to the bricard. A brisket. The, uh, the small hook stayed in my hand when the door closed. Maybe I can use it. What? Well, we've got a small hook. I don't care. You want me to just tell you the rest of the game? I kind of... I'm checked out. All right. <laughs> use pliers on my pin. <laughs> I just... <sighs> so there's a wooden pin somewhere you want to use pliers on. Wooden pin, eh? Yep. Sounds like a thing I'll find. Turn. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, rod. Wooden pins. Those were on the wall. Oh. That's the things that she said God something weird about it. again. It's uh all the way back. All the way back down the ship. All the way back. All these things. All the things. So, use the pliers on wooden pin 
It's impossible to remove that, even by banging on them. Uh, try... The ones on your right? There! If, if you bang on it, you will get it out. Okay, we got it. That's what she said. <laughs> Go down to the hold and zoom in on the stool down in the hold. The stool? Use pliers on nail. Wait, we already have the nail. This this walkthrough seems to imply we didn't do that yet, but we did. Oh. So use pliers on nail in inventory. Well, to let's make... go check on. All right, he's not doing he's great. Asleep. He's asleep. Yeah. Uh, use pliers on nail in inventory to make twisted nail. Well, now that we know how to fucking. Huh. <gasps> mm, okay. Wait yeah. Small hook. Fuck. Use the small hook on the lock. Yes, now I can satisfy my endless curiosity. Great. <coughs> Unbelievable. Women's clothes. Great, now I can dress in the style of the day. Why? Well, you want to look right. But! You want to look... appropriate. With everything else going on? Uh, also hit the box again. Just hey, hold in on. case. It must be full of secrets. I thought it was a snake for a second. So did I. Uh, it's a big ribbon. Oh, okay. All right. All right, good. I got my ribbon. Return to mid deck. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed to the back of the ship and turn right. <laughs> oh, the walking is so slow. So yeah, turn right, and then zoom in on the cannonball. And take the ore. Oh, we took the, f the yeah, ore. Okay, the this ore. game. Yeah, okay, this walkthrough. I'm on a different one from before. Use wooden pin on ore in inventory. Let's put them together now. Uh, use uh, twisted nail on stick. I don't have a stick. Try it on the thing you just put together. Uh. Oh, God damn it, where's the stick? Where? Where do I get a stick? Move back. Oh, wait a minute, wait. Uh, move back and enter the closet opposite the two cannons. This is. Oof. That was on this side, right? Yes. Alright. No, oh. Use ribbon on the ore. There you go, now you got a stick. So now I'll put the twisted nail on the stick. Oh my god. This is so <laughs> stupid. Uh. Okay. A halyard. When I pull on it, it makes a noise from behind. Okay, then pull on it. Uh, use boat hook on halyard. Uh. Oh, I already did. Oh, that's what you just did. All right. Zoom in on the end of the halyard. Use corkscrew on notch. <laughs> I touch the end of the halyard. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Touch the end of the halyard and use. When I pull on it, it makes a noise from behind. Okay. Uh, halyard on... Oh, use halyard on corkscrew. And then? Uh, move aft and zoom in on the porthole on the right. Time to go aft. Which way's aft? I think that's aft. I don't know. I didn't have a porthole, did I? Uh, go aft. Aft is the back, right? I think. I don't know. A lot of boat people are gonna be angry with us. I don't give a shit yeah, if we get that wrong. That's not worth knowing unless you <laughs> regularly fucking sail. And guess what we don't do? Regularly sail. Maybe that's our problem. I mean, I love boats. I do I, like, I like. I like being on the sea, it but I don't nice. give a shit about what it's called. I wish I could go on the sea more often. I get seasick so easily, but I always enjoy myself till I do. I've never been seasick. God, it sucks. I hate it. Yeah. I guess. Every time I go out on a boat, it's like, wee hee hee hee, yay! And then it's. Well, this. you sure took your sweet time. What? Good. Now I need to be untied. All right. Um. <laughs> Uh, touch the thin rope at that uh, when you get to the porthole. What porthole? 
I don't know. I don't know where they're. Is there? There's not. There's not. Oh, a porthole. Touch the thin rope. Oh, yuck. It's full of garbage. Uh, touch the bucket three times to get the saw. Smells like rotten fish. There Why? are leftovers from meals or, or from cleaning. You have to fucking coax the character yeah. into doing it? Like, come on. Oh, it's part of a sawfish. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, this is... I'm glad I'm going to... We, If we had to do this, this would be the... I would be have been so series. angry. Um, I keep losing my place because this whole thing's so ridiculous. Return to the closet. Retrieve the corkscrew. Uh, then go back to the sliding door to Melchior. No! <laughs> okay. To Melchior. All right. Fuck me. We're finally going to get out of this place at least. You know what, Urban Runner? There was a certain charm to it. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's this. No, there's no charm here. No, just just open. <sighs> this is. Uh, this was all I could find. Part of a sawfish, but it'll work. Okay. It was just rope. Thank you, my dear. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Melchior. You? Yeah, we know. My name is Doralis. Who? Melchior, you say. Douglas. Thoralis. Thorilax. I found it in the fisherman's cabin. Smog, Smoglex. Jarlath. Yes, that's my mission log. I lost it a while ago. Now, we must teleport to St. Cristobal Island. We'll use my time pass. Yeah. Yes. Wait a minute. <gasps> we have to take Yoruba with us. I'll say. Absolutely not. He'll only be a burden. But I promised. What did he say? If it hadn't been Absolutely not. He'll be a burden. I wouldn't oh. have been able to escape. And you owe him your freedom too. No, it he gave me a knife. Makes sense. It's too risky. Look, we have no time to lose. But he could yes, we do. Don't get all the time in the world. Space Stop. time Wife. patrol. I am sure he could lead us to him. Okay, okay, you may be right. He looks like somebody. But how can we free him? Michael Palin Captain mixed with Gordon Ramsay when they were both a little younger. Well, let's go and get them. Do you think Philibert is going to welcome you with open arms and let you rummage through his things? The yeah. hair reminds me of like Patrick I Duffy. Have an idea. Let's go and see Oswald. Not Patrick Duffy. Uh, not Patrick Duffy. Uh, sure fucking. That's a good idea. I've heard that sailors have terrible manners when it comes to women. Alan Thick. Don't worry, he's no. That looks like Alan Thick. That's what I'm thinking. Mixed with Michael yeah, Palin. I was thinking of fucking Alan Thick. Start a mutiny. Okay. Sure. Oswald, let me introduce you to a charming passenger. I think she can help us with our plans. Where did you find her? What's she looking for? What? Is she the one who set you free? I don't know. Well, uh, I don't know. Girlfriend. Uh, she didn't want me to leave her. Oh, it, anyway, he looks 30 years younger. Yep. Stoveled. You want to go back? Me too. The captain must be crazy. He wants to sink this ship off the coast of Europe. Right, there's no. I've checked out time. so. <laughs> we'll do our ship. So fucking Doris badly is going at to this point. Take of the ship. This is. We can sure try, my dear. I'll tell the captain that we found you, and he'll lock you up in his cabin. They you phoned us? Try to find phoned you, I think. And bring it to me. Why would he tell the captain he phoned you? It's 1840. That's why everybody fears him. I know how it works. And the sailors will follow me. He had to be clever in order to get here. Anyway, we have no other choice. Who are you? Let's go. Why are you older now? Yeah. Meet us at Yoruba's cell. Try to find the key to his cell. Oh, man. Well, Oswald, what are you plotting now? 
Still conspiring, are you? Captain, I brought you something that will interest you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, what a good fight. So I guess the... Old. I'm lucky that we're not in the same room. You have a guess. Oh, so this is the, just the crew. This is just the crew of the ship. Yeah. Looks like she skipped from her father who wanted to force her into marriage. I imagine, Captain, that you'll teach her what life is all about. You are absolutely... Thank God we put on that dress. She's something out of oh. the ordinary. If I had known, blend in perfectly. I'd have taken a bath before leaving. Well, my beauty, I'm going to lock you up in my quarters. I'll take care of you later. I'll what? leave you with Gallipo, my what? parrot. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going far. I don't try anything. Gallipo will warn me. Gallipo? Yeah. All right, folks. You ain't never been reminded by so <laughs> about something by Gallipo? No. <laughs> Gallipo's who I rely on for most things in my life. All right. All right, everybody. We're gonna finish this tomorrow because we, we are gonna we are gonna we are gonna walk through the rest of the way. This we can't not know how the rest of this no, goes. No, we have to finish it. I mean, honestly, like. I would like to turn this off right now. Me too. <laughs> but we have to complete it. It's too it. funny, though, at this point. We, it's, I, I keep thinking it couldn't get worse, and then it does. So I'm, I, I want to see how far down the rabbit hole this fucking thing goes. See, Urban Runner, at least, like... <sighs> You're right. There was a charm to it. There was a charm in how batshit crazy it was. Yeah. This is just, like... I don't... Like, it doesn't make sense... Like, I mean, I, I think I get it. No, I mean, I don't know, because it's so weird. It's just so weird and and it assumes made. you know so much <laughs> about what's going on. Yeah, and it, it, it drops the, big ideas. The fucking puzzles. Yeah, that's the are problem. like why would you think to click that bucket three times? Yeah, I don't know. Bucket comes up and you're like, uh, oh, rotten fish. I don't like that. Click again. Uh, oh, just nah, dirty. It stinks. Third time. All right, all right, I got it. All right. Well, all right. Look, let's let's not wait any longer. Let's let's get through the end of this game. Tomorrow's episode will have to be the finale. We're gonna we're gonna walk through the, our way through this and find out just how bad this game. See if this game can get worse. I assume every step of the way it's gotten. Worse and worse. And we're so, gonna we're gonna have to be real quick. There's so much still left to do. But we're gonna do it all tomorrow. So see you then everybody. Goodbye. Bye, I guess. <laughs>